Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's reaction time. Absolutely. I had to come on here and do another reaction, bro. I hinted at it in the previous video. And how could I not do another reaction after the conclusion of the previous chapter? Mother appearing before Shiki? Bro, I'd be crazy not to do it. Also, there were a few people in my comment section, like, correcting me, saying that it wasn't actually the real mother. It was like a projection or recording or whatever. And, bro, I know that it's not the real mother. She didn't appear there. There. It's the beacon. It's mother's beacon. You're not supposed to meet her there. I ain't that stupid, bro. Give me a little bit of credit. But enough about that. On to the actual chapter. Eden Zero Chapter 111 111. Let's go. And yeah, for right now, we're gonna stop right here. I'm not gonna scroll down no farther because if you know, you know, okay? And look at, look at this right here, though. Look at this right here, though. <laughs> I know y'all see the fairy tale. What is that? Red wine? Brewski? Yes, sir. You know, there's actually a comment in here somewhere to be made about like the union ship between fairy tale fans and Eden Zero fans because if you don't know if you're not in tune with what's going on in the on the internet between these two fandoms there's a little bit of a uh, toxicity going around and the toxicity is mainly coming from the fairy tale fandom because they're upset that Hiromashima is spending all this time on Eden Zero when he ain't giving the fairy tale fans no love which is absolutely ridiculous I mean uh, of course he's gonna spend most of his time on Eden Zero, it's his main project, and it's not like we don't have 100 years quest going on at the exact same time. I'll never understand that, bro. Hiro Mashima, and I'm about to make a bold statement here, but I'm willing to make it, and you can correct me if you think that there's someone else that does this better in the comment section down below, but I'm gonna stand here and sit, well, I'm sitting down. I'm gonna sit, I'm gonna sit down here and say that I do not think that there is a more dedicated creator to his property to like his main properties than Hiromashima. Fairy Tale started, I think, almost well, no, I think at this point it's over 20 years ago, and he is still doing consistent, consistent content for that property. What other mangaka do you know that is still doing that? That is still providing consistent content for one of their properties when it started up 20 years ago. Y'all kill me sometimes, bro, but moving on. Wait a minute, what? Did the thingy, the, the lacrima, just suck a ball of her ether and she she disappeared? Yeah, just sucked up mother's ether all of a sudden, to be precise. The mother ether found a vessel and it went inside of its own volition. So I guess the mother's beacon that was inside the cave just came with like a little bit of a message and now it's technically this thing, I think? Dang it, bro, I wanted I wanted some more, some, some mother cheeky interactions, bro. I wanted a little bit of backstory. Guess we gotta wait. So, let me get this straight. Eden Zero is about to get into its Indiana Jones bag. We're just gonna go out here looking for the uh, the Ark of the Covenant, bro. The the chalice. What was that thing called? I don't know. It's been a while since I've seen Indiana Jones, but we're just gonna collect a whole bunch of relics and get the Mother Ether, and that's gonna take us to Mother. I don't hate it. I like it. What's with all like the vagueness, though? Can I get a yes or no answer, please? It might, is all I can say. Nadia, listen bro, I don't wanna have to be the one to tell you this, but I gotta be the one to do it, okay? You ain't helpful in the slightest. You can't protect nothing, you can't even give good instructions. Like, what are you good for? I'm tired of you. Just be evil already. Hold up a minute, wait, wait, Pino, what? We've made good progress. Are you hearing the same info that I am? Nadia just told you guys that there are a bunch of relics out there in space. She doesn't know where they are or where they could even possibly be. You ain't got no hints, no help whatsoever. You gonna have to lick your finger out there in space and see where the wind takes, there's no wind. There's, there's no wind in space. <laughs> right, ne never mind, okay? You get what I mean, though, okay? No help, no nothing. You're just gonna have to be out there looking, playing Where's Waldo in an infinite cosmos. Although, Happy is kind of right here. They didn't really have any clues before, so I guess... You know, you're kind of right. Whatever. Sounds like a big pain in the neck, bro. I agree with you 100%, bro. You had like, you were originally at square one, now you're at like square one and a half. Let's just absorb all the mother ether in this temple. You're so stupid. <laughs> Brings me to tears. Look, you're not throwing that shade, bro. That's just not necessary. Many people have been here and no one has done that. It means it's probably not possible. Okay, but you are bringing them facts. <laughs> you bringing them facts. Bro, this is exactly what I'm talking about when I talk about Nadia. This ain't even your own info. You're the guardian and you ain't even got this info on deck. You learned it from Andrew. This is secondhand information. Be better at your job. Oh, uh... All right, witch, you just, you just gonna drop it right on her, huh? You wanna see Andrew again? Well, too bad he's a corpse. Yeah, this is, uh, this is looking like it's not gonna, not gonna be great. 
<laughs> Ooh, but I love the maturity coming from Witch. She knows how it is. Lady Rebecca, do you think hiding the truth is the only way to show kindness? You gotta lay it on the table. Witch can see it from both angles, and I love that. I can't really see it from both because, like, if it were me in this situation, bro, tell me. You can have me wishing and waiting for who knows how many more years, bro. Just hit me with that hard truth so I can... I guess move on, but I'd still be sitting in a temple forever. Oh, okay, I can kind of see it. I can kind of see it. Okay, witch. This is why you the go, bro. You coming in clutch with the memory chip with uh, files of Andrew. Andrew giving me like like early Weiss vibes though. I got the relic back. We're lucky the thief was just a small time crook and I have a friend in the government. Oh, did he solve her cable problem? Andrew just a respectable dude, bro. Oh, it was a meteoroid from our calculations. I'd say it rendered him unconscious and unable to steer. The collision knocked his ship off course and after 200 years, he crash landed on the planet. Yikes. Dang, my boy Andrew was so close, dude. He got done dirty by that rock. Space ain't no joke. That's the power of love, I guess. Go. You know what? I bet that even if there is a way to, like, save her, she's not gonna accept it. <laughs> That's my prediction. Hey, yo, which is goaded, bro? I've been saying this. She's goaded. I'm a diehard fan. We can all love whomever we choose. You dead wrong about that one, bro. You should have been reading Eden Zero. Shiki taught us that lesson, like, uh, 50 chapters ago. This is what I'm talking about right here, bro. Which learned? She learned from Shiki. Androids do have hearts. Robots have hearts. We all got hearts. We all in it together. Well, there's one piece. And, and now it's gone. Yo, this is a power feat right here if you think about it. If just a sliver of Mother's Ether is doing this, is giving life, mother powerful, powerful. Real tears, yes sir. Laguna is learning, dude. Nadia, don't cry though. Uh. Dang, and now the planet is back to how it used to be. This is a powerful and cool shot. Andrew, you helping me to see it again? <gasps> okay, okay, okay. This ain't even like a Sheikah moment, bro. This is like a Sheikah confirmation. I, I didn't mean it like that. Yes, you did. He was talking about love. You in love with this dude. It ain't no big deal. Well, ain't this just about the most adorable thing I ever did see, but I'm more interested in what's going on over here, because this seems like a bit of foreshadowing. Not for, like, the Red Cave planet and Nadia and Andrew and all that stuff, but, like, maybe in the future, a chronophage turning back time could be, like, a good thing. But anyhow, this is the end of the chapter, and it is also, I presume, the end of the Red Cave side story i think is what you would call it i call it a side story because the red cave stuff aside from like the relics it's not ever probably going to have any relevance ever again what's done is done the reaction is done yeah like i said the reaction is done so anyways thank you all very much for watching i hope that you all enjoyed if you did make sure to like comment and subscribe and i will see you all in the next one peace out everybody yeah actually one more thing now while i did think that this side story was cool it is time to get back to the action bro we need that nero we need that <laughs> that ratio and says galactica and interstellar bro we need that heat that ziggy that elsie we need it